what is take this off what is happening team liam from lazarus personal training this week i have been away me and ella have been to the lake district and luckily there is a gym on site basically this video is going to be about me talking about my hotel gym session for when i'm away training on holiday I didn't think that we would have access to the gym, not that it particularly mattered anyway. We're only away five days. There was a pool that we've got that we've been for a swim in and we're going for a swim tomorrow. Uh, we've been out walking pretty much every single day. It's been an active downtime, but we had the opportunity to go and use the gym. I saw I wanted to go in just to use it, just to be in a bit of a different atmosphere. And I also thought that this would be quite an interesting take on what I would do going into a gym. Also, things to take into consideration, my current training is based around some strength movements to go into some more conditioning and body composition movements to then put a little bit of cardio on the back end of it. Also, another thing to take into consideration is that yes, it is COVID-19 time, so we had to book into a time slot. And also with that, we had around 45 minutes to train, although in saying that, we did train for over 45 minutes or we were in the gym for over 45 minutes and nobody really seemed to care. So at the beginning of this week, or well on Sunday, I'd hit my main upper body movements and on the Monday, I'd hit my main lower body movements. So my big strength exercises in terms of frequency um, of doing them were ticked off, banging around. We'd had the chance to go and look around the gym beforehand. So I had an idea about what we had to use. And actually the gym for being a hotel gym was quite well kitted out. There was a lap pull down machine. There was a couple of like upper body machines. Uh, there was a Smith's machine, but we're not gonna talk about that. They had dumbbells that went from like one kilogram to 10 kilograms and then there was 12.5 kilograms. So actually it was a decent little bit of a setup. Uh, surprisingly so for the uh, hotel. So credit to Embleton Spa Hotel. Have I said that right? Cool, said that right. Maybe we get like a free like, free hotel visit for the, for, no, we're not. I'm not that much of an influencer yet. In terms of framing the session, there wasn't a lot of lower body exercises that I could do that would really hit what I like to hit. So I left that and I just did upper body session. I basically went in for like an upper body pump. Luckily with a lap pull down machine, it meant that I could pretty much do what I'm doing at the moment. It went up to the right way. And actually I really liked the lap pull down machine itself. Um, Sport Active, I believe is the brand name. I might have messed that up. I'm not getting any membership from, uh, not getting any sponsorship from them either, am I? So I managed to hit the lap pull down stuff. Now, here's a little point about being flexible on stuff. I ideally wanted to hit the lap pull down first. It was programmed first. But as we went in, someone literally walked in and was like, can I use the gym? So the guy obviously went in and used the lap pull down machine first, despite me wanting to use it because that's just what happens in gyms. So instead of doing my A exercise, I did my B exercises. That was a tricep that will be familiar for people that are working with me at the moment, where we do an incline press to go into a flat bench to go into a uh, chest fly. The difference with that is that the numbers that I'm pushing at the moment in terms of the weight isn't available in that gym. So what I did was I did alternating movements. So basically I had one arm held up in the air, came down, went back up again, and then I switched to the other side. A couple of reasons for that. It adds extra time under tension. So that set duration was way longer than it would be usually. But again, if I'm looking for a little bit more muscle fatigue coming through that, one of the ways that we can do that is time under tension. Also with keeping the arm held up at the top point, the pec is acting more and more as a stabilizer. If that pec switches off, my arm's going to fall out to a side. So in terms of hitting chest and developing chest a little bit more, that alternating style, while I'm slightly lighter, still got quite a good pump out of it. And I actually came out of it going, you know what, that was pretty solid, more solid than I was expecting it to be. From there, I then went into my lap pull down stuff, hit it as I would usually hit it. Um, the machine was really nice out of it. Again, a couple of bits with me is that my shoulders clunk over and I'm sure there's something more in my elbows, but this is why I'm putting lap pull downs in to get a little bit more volume into it. So then when it comes to pull ups, I'm in a better place in terms of adding more frequency and adding more volume into the pull up position. So again, I've got an overhand position there or a pronated position. I'm just working on that pull motion. Lats have always been a weak point of mine, still trying to develop them. From there, ideally I put down a cable pull down into a cable bicep curl and the lap pull down machine was also that machine, but it didn't have a bottom one on it. And I was like, you know what? I'm not overly bothered about this. Let me see if I can work something else out. And upstairs, there were these, like the resistance bands, uh, but with the, whole, with the handles on the end attached to the wall. So I sort of looked at it, looked at the position. And I went, I wonder if I can like jimmy this around somehow. 
and it actually worked out quite nicely. I managed to do some seated tricep pull downs to go into some standing bicep curls. Uh, the seated pull down was actually a really nice position and I got quite a lot out of that. Basically, I'm going a set of 50 on each of those. So I'm just going for like high reps out of it because there's little to no resistance coming out of the resistance band with that you can just pump through and then when you get in towards the back end you say you take a second you get a couple more out and you just get a quite a nice pump that comes through that when i'm doing that with cables that ends up being quite light anyway so it transferred quite nicely i was actually really happy with that pull down position and the cable uh, the sorry the resistance band bicep curl again hit what i wanted it to hit so i was quite happy in terms of how they set up how i managed to put that together and again sometimes you go into a gym expecting to do one thing but actually you do something else. As long as it was, for me, as long as it was hitting an elbow extension and then elbow flexion, it could have been anything. It could have been really like dumbbells, it could have been the resistance bands. I've got my loops resistance band that I could have jimmied over something. I'm saying jimmy a lot here. So I had a quite a lot of flexibility out of it. And then to finish off, I hit a shoulder press. Now, for the credit that I gave the lat pull down machine, the shoulder press machine, not so much. It was a little bit too wide for me and as I sat back, my arms were a little bit far forward. And that's something that I always find with machines. Sometimes they sit really nicely and other times they don't. And despite me trying to inspect the machine and work out how I could pull it forward a little bit, I couldn't, so I ended up sat forward into the machine. I was working on a drop set basis, so I put it on a weight, I did a little bit of a warm up set and I went, okay, that's cool. I went to a weight that I thought I was gonna be all right on, pressed it and I was like, that actually like moved pretty easily. So I went down again, pressed it, and it moved pretty all right. So I went, you know what, balls to it. I'm gonna full stack this. Uh, 100 on the bottom, try to press it, no go. Went to the next one, no go. And eventually started creeping some reps out of it. And these were like twos and threes. And that was literally all the way back up the stack up until I got to about, I think it was 30 or 25 that I managed to get like three or four out and then it was three or four. And then the final couple of sets were like, I hit a six on the second to last one and a six on the last one, which was five kilograms, which was literally just me moving the machine. The reason why drop sets work is again, an accumulation of volume. So while it goes down in the weight, that volume and that fatigue is already built up. So at 30 kilograms, say, I managed to get three or four reps out of that. Coming in fresh, I'd have managed to get loads more, but because it's been a drop set, because I've tried to press way more out of it, it then means that my shoulders are fatigued and that movement isn't as fresh as it once was. So I get a little bit more coming out of that. And as a finisher, a drop set is quite nice to get in there. I say nice, it's horrendous in the moment. It's really like hard, but it's a good pump to finish out with. And that's what I was really looking for out of that session. To finish off with, I realized that I'd not done any sort of like shoulder blade retraction work and like trying to pull my shoulders back and like a chest press and a lat pull down and a shoulder press are all very much like internal rotators. So I needed something to pull that back. So I literally hit a couple of band pull aparts, hit a couple of like shoulder rolls backwards just to try and set that position a little bit. And then did a little bit of deep breathing stuff on the end just to reset that position, bring my heart rate back down again. So our main takeaways coming away from this workout in a hotel is that if you get the opportunity to hit a hotel workout, sweet, you might be able to do some stuff that you didn't realize like the tricep pull down position. I actually really liked that. I might use that in my own workouts. Sometimes you've got to think on the fly and if you don't have access to the weights that you might usually have access to, what can you do to still get a decent workout out of it? And then overall, it's just a nice little bit of downtime that you can throw into your holiday time. It doesn't have to be the best session in the world. We've trained at five o'clock today. Usually I train in the morning. I've not had any pre-workout because I actually want to sleep tonight and we don't have any pre-workout here. So it's not a session to go in and be like, PBs all the way. Here's a session just to go to have a little bit of fun. I enjoy the gym, so I like going to the gym. Ella went in, did some yoga stuff. We're gonna get changed, we're gonna get a shower, we're gonna go out for a meal. It's gonna be part of our holiday. If you get a chance to work out on holiday, perfect. But only do it if you really enjoy doing it. If it's a bit of a chore, if you're like, oh God, I've got to do this and this and this, leave it. It's a week off, that's cool. For me, I enjoy doing it, so I'm gonna do it. If you've liked this video, if you found it helpful, give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because it massively helps. I've been Liam from Lazarus Personal Training, and I am gonna go get a shower because I smell. Done.